athletes that are copying, they have their maximum time, which is published in other way of So we don't just, you know, I'm sure you're going to see maybe 100 Kenyans that day. Most of them, they come on their own. Because they don't have world record, they come and look for record. We 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 have given this opportunity to like to those athletes who have not taken advantage of it. Rather, in particular race, they were protesting all over the place. Probably the top girl gave us money. So they were carrying bars to the government office that was really paid them. But they forget that having won up a road race, you already become a boss level athlete. That in itself allows you to go out of the country to run as an elite. But they are not taking that advantage whatsoever. So I want to say to the media here, encourage Nigerians to run the race and they get their, their level and they can go and compete elsewhere in the world, not just to wait here. So that they begin to also feel the basis out there. I'm actually happy more that uh, the, the issue of doping is, is seriously considered in this race and that shows that the, if you are coming, you are coming clean. And I'm also happy that you are changing the name from Dopina to uh, integrity. integrity because if you don't, sports is full of integrity. For sport is a discipline. And for you to be a sportman, the first word is that you are a disciplined person because sport is guided by the rules. I'm running for cancer. I'm running that cancer be eradicated, and by the grace of God, for those that are already having it, we are going to be in solidarity with them, running for them, and also running to see that one day the vaccine and the cure for cancer will be real. So that's it, um, Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibu. And before he, he, he talked, you listen to the initiator, call him the consultant, call him the, uh, the innovation behind the Okpepe International Road Race, Mike Temuagbo. And he said, look, if you feature at the Okpepe Road Race, because it is an IAAF bronze label event that only you can go and run in Kenya, you can go to Tanzania. It gives you, it's a qualification process for you to go and compete outside. And that's really cool. Yeah. To help your stomach. Too. But, I, but, but, I, but I also think that uh, Mike Tamagbo was just being motivational. Yeah. You know, we, we, we still need to fix a lot of things. That's right. Uh, the level at which um, our long distance um, runners are at this moment, I don't see them you know, going out to compete with the best. But you see, this tournament can help them. This championship can help them. It can spur them. Uh, they know that every, every year, you have the open for a road race. You don't need to you know, travel outside the country. Prepare you don't need for to it spend money. Prepare for it. And athletes can also invest in themselves, mm. get uh, quality training, um, train hard, and look forward to it. Who knows? You could, you know, m make it. So for, 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 for the athletes, they have a lot to do. And mm. for the federation too, um, I'm happy that um, Solomon Agba, the AFN uh, president, is also carried along in this um, uh, project. Let them look at ways of, um, you know, rekindling our interest, the interest of our runners in the long distance races mm. yeah, and, and it's good the proximity of it itself may gives them an opportunity to dream you know for the fact that we are having races like this locally it means that uh, they themselves you know they have opportunity to, of assessing their ability That's right. and uh, they know that this is not just something that should be kept mm. local mm. you know once you can dream it's just a matter of time you know they would have that motivation and confidence to go out there and try their luck so mm. it's good that it's coming close you know I agree. the proximity of it helps you know, their psyche, mm. you know, get them prepared. They are mingling somehow with international athletes. And there is, they, they, they realize that the entire team is not really esoteric. There is nothing special about it. If they can compete side by side, it's just a matter of time. Mm. They can go out there and contest as well. So let the countdown begin. May the 13th, we'll be having the fifth edition of the Awkward by International Road Race. It's technologically driven. We use the same pictures from the fourth edition. Uh, these guys from Kenya just come here. When it's all good <laughs> for the love of the game, yeah. uh, you also former governor of Edo State, Adams Shirmale is always there, starts yeah. and completes the race. Uh, but uh -huh. then the deputy governor, Philip Shaibu, said something important, that the Okpepe International Road Race is also fighting to make athletics clean. 
Well, we don't even like using the word doping. And he says, no, we should find another word for you. I'm saying integrity. Because we need to bring integrity into sport. Doping has no place. And the Ockwepe International Road Race is also a champion in that. So that's it. Our pictures from the press conference that uh, got us talking. So let's see what the organizers will do this time as we continue the countdown. Let's come back home now. Talk about the one you are still talking about. The league management company, they came, very, they came down very hard on Remo Stars. Um, Kano Pillars, Katsina United, and Aimba. A lot of people on social media uh, have chosen to just take that Aimba and Katsina United case uh, close to them, and they are still analyzing it. This picture will come up now, and I'll get on with you watch Kutokin. talking. Fatal Dauda is the goalkeeper of Aimba Football Club of Aba, is Ghanaian, and um, is in the center of the discussion because of what happened between him and the ball boy. So that's the goal. The second goal only that Katsina United scored. Um, I don't know what caused the delay. Uh, amateur video for you right there. Um, but take a close look at the ball boy. Picks the ball, Dauda confronted him, maybe was running towards him, maybe, but we'll get to see it again. Pick the ball, ball boy goes to the ground. That's it right there. So ball boy picks the ball. So what did Dauda do to the to the ball boy that put him on the ground? Oh yeah, that's it right there. In a lot of ways you can look at this video. The more you look, the less you see. But but there was contact with the ball boy. He fell down, fans didn't like it, and that's the story we have with us today. Also, the first and foremost, the ball boy has no uh, reason to hold on to the ball. Ah, uh, the game wasn't... The game, the game stopped for no. a while. You see, he came into... He actually came into, into the pitch to pick the ball. Yeah. He picked the ball. In watch. The so he picked the ball. No, not, no, not was, even inside the pitch. Just outside. Just outside. outside. Picked the ball, was holding on to it. Uh, oh, yeah, game wasn't even going on. So... What takes my, my point of discussion, and I took this up with the president of the NRA, what did the referee do to this? That is the question. Mm. The referee is in charge of the game. You know, did the referee, um, was he able to spot that uh, incident? incident. Did, he, did he give um, Fatai Dauda a yellow card or a red card? He didn't. Mm. Therefore, he, the, the fans don't have any reason to attack uh, the officials. Mm. 